Hey there, it's Erin with Time Saving Templates, and today I'm going to be going over the third video in a series I was doing all about if formulas in Excel. So I will link to the first two videos, which went over this one right here the average if and max if and min if formulas, and then skipping back a few, the first if. Uh, series video was over sum if and count if and both of those we looked at bonus calculations and bonus programs using those formulas to summarize the max payouts the average payout per band the total payout by department and things of that nature for today I'm gonna be going over something a little bit different using if formulas to calculate a median. So a median if, which is not an actual formula in Excel, but we're using the median function with the if function together. So we can pull in the median from a data set if it matches a certain criteria in the data set. So the template I'm going to be using for this example is the pay structure design template, which you can also find this one at timesavingtemplates.com in the HR section. But basically there's a few different tabs and pages here that are set up uh, to help you calculate salary ranges if you work in HR or compensation. So there's different ways you can go about if you have the min and max and you need the midpoint, you could use this page. Basically, the green cells is where you're entering your information and the gray is calculating your formulas. So for this example, I've already entered a sample range with some grades. And with this tab, the defining min and max, we just entered a midpoint and then we entered what range spread we want. And then it's calculating the min and max of the range based on that information. There's also a couple of pages where you can plot out your ranges again and then have it rounded here and then also displayed in a graph. For this example, I'm gonna stick with this one tab where I already have my sample data entered for some different ranges for some salary grades. And I've added an extra column in right here and this is where I'm going to do the formula for the median if I'm looking for the median in the data set I've added if the information falls within grade A, B, C, D, etc. So I'm looking for the median but only if it falls in this grade. So that's a median if. And just to back up a second too, the reason you would want to use a median instead of an average because we went over average if in a previous video but a lot of times medians are used especially in compensation and different salary surveys the 50th percentile is basically the same thing as a median and the main benefit is that if you have outliers either very high or very low outliers the median will not be affected by that. It's act, If you sort the data lowest to highest, it's just taking the middle number out of all occurrences. So it will just give you that middle 50th percentile. And so half of the numbers are going to be above it and the other half are going to be below the median. And so that gives you maybe a more reliable number versus an average that could be skewed one way or another if you have a really high outlier that's really high or outliers that are really low, it can lower the average for everybody. So I have added in a column here to put the formula and I've also added some sample market data that I've just plugged in some just sample jobs and everything. So if you had a large list of survey data, you would typically have more columns than this, but I'm just showing the first three columns. You may have definitely a survey title. The only thing to you may need to edit if you're trying to replicate this for a specific 
salary ranges is your internal grade. So I went ahead and added the internal grade that I would assign based on the survey level. So the grades A through J are an internal company salary grade. As an example, it could be numbers, it could be different for different companies, but the salary surveys combine data from a bunch of different companies. And so they're just showing me 50th percentiles out of all the companies that reported how much these different jobs are paying. So they don't have your internal grades, obviously. So that has to be added. Um, so I've already added that for the example. Okay. So what I want to start with is the median and then we'll, the formula for median, and then we'll add in the if part because it's nested together. So I'm going to click on median and you'll see the box kind of helps explain what it's looking for here. So number one is going to be the, the column where we want to see the median within the numbers. So I'm going to go to my sample data and I'm looking for the median of the 50th percentile here. That's it. I just have that one. So I'm going to click OK. Let me change to a number. So this is just pulling the total median out of that sheet. So if I were to sort this on 50th percentile, then the middle number is this 83. We have 13, well really 12 below 83, and then we have 12 above 83. So it's taking the median of this whole column, regardless of the grade, but we wanna see what is the median for a D, what is the median for E, etc. That is the median formula. And then, and then the formula that I want to combine it with is the if. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the if formula separately as well. So my logical test is if the grade on this column, you can just highlight the whole column, equals the grade I have listed here. If that's true, I want the whole column here and then leave false blank. And I'm gonna get a little spill error because we still need to make some changes. So we're gonna do adding the mean, we're gonna click right here by the equal sign and now I'm gonna type in median and then a bracket and then if we have the formula and then just another one to close it. Okay, now the spill um, message goes away and then now we're getting a median for E. So if I go back and I check grade E, 86 is the middle number when it's sorted. So that'll give us the median. And then if I drag this over, oh, I don't have sample data for A through C. So I only put sample data in for D, E, F, G, and H. So you'll see that it's bringing in the median from my data set. And then what I would do is compare the median data to the midpoint to see how far off the median is from the midpoint of the range. And so that is how you would do the median if. The easiest way, do the if formula first. It will give you that message, but once you add median to the front, it will, it will work to give you the median per the grade. So I hope that helps. And that is the third video in this if series. I may do one more if related formula for a fourth video next. But if you enjoyed this video, please feel free to like and subscribe. You can find this template that I've used in the example by going over here to timesavingtemplates.com and click on the shop in human resources tab and you will find the template in here. We also have some free resources. If you go to timesavingtemplates.com slash free resources, there is a free comp compensation metrics cheat sheet here in the HR and comp um, freebie section as well as a free guide to getting started with Excel. So until next time, don't forget, I'm here to help you streamline and save time when it comes to using Excel spreadsheets 
for your different projects. And thanks for watching.